Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to solve an SSRF lab on Portsvigar. SSRF stands for Server Side Request Forgery. And this lab is a basic SSRF against the local server. So let's read about the lab. So this lab has a stock check feature which fetches data from an internal system. So they have some products on the website where we are going to access the lab. We are going to see a website with prod products and those products will have an option where a user can check how much product is left in their stock. So that is what they are mentioning here. And to solve this lab, change the stock check URL to access the admin interface at localhost slash admin and delete the user Carlos. So they have given us a very big hint. So let's start by accessing the lab. So it has now loaded and we see a shop here with multiple products. So I'm going to just click on any one of them and click on view details. So it is a waterproof tea bag. And once we scroll down, we come across the button check stock. So before I click on it, uh, I'm going to go to burp. I'm going to go to burp and intercept and I'm going to click on intercept on. Then go back to our chromium and click on check stock. Then again, go back to burp to see if we have recorded this. So forward and yeah, we have the request here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the repeater, switch off the intercept and here send the request. We see 200 OK and we have around 19 products in our stock. Great. But as I scroll down, I see the stock API equal to some URL. Let us decode this, send to the decoder, decode as URL and we can see the URL now. OK, let me go back to the repeater and also show you how you can see it here itself. So you can just open the inspector, select this text and it will, what's it? Yeah, so it will automatically decode your text. Very good. So what I will do is, let me see if this, if I can change this and change it to localhost slash admin like they had mentioned us over there in the description of the lab itself. Okay, and I'm going to apply the changes. Once I do that, I send the request and we get a 200 OK response. Let us click on render and see what is happening. Once we click on render, we see that we have admin panel and we have some users, Carlos and Vida. I'm going to take this and request it in the browser. Copy this, go back to Chromium paste it and see if I can directly delete it from right here, right? So I click on delete and it says admin interface is only available if logged in as an administrator. All right, let us try and refresh and see if it is solved. No, it is not solved because, you know, uh, we are not logged in as an admin. We were able to access this within that stock API. Using that, we were able to access it. So going back there, what I will do here is I will now go to raw and search for Carlos. I'm sorry. Siri, I did not call you. That's funny, but never mind. Okay. Coming back to here, we see that there is an A tag and this is how we can delete Carlos. This is a URL. Let me copy this part and then select this go back to the inspector and actually paste that value that I have copied here okay and remove that extra admin apply the changes close this and send back this request okay it says 302 so let's follow the redirection and see if we are able to delete Carlos or not. So let's follow and it says 401 unauthorized, but there is a possibility that it was deleted. Okay. okay. So here it says, congratulations, you have solved the lab, but to see if it was actually, you know, deleted or not, let us do one thing. Let us go back 
to our previous response here and just click on the inspector select this remove the delete part and keep only till admin click on apply changes then we will send this request again now this time we should not be able to see Carlos right only in users we can see only winner is there and even in pretty if I try and search Carlos as you can see it is already written zero highlights that means we have successfully deleted Carlos and this is an example of SSRF attack I hope you understood this lab if you have any queries please comment it down below in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel Thank you.